久しぶりすぎてなんかやり方忘れちゃいました申し訳ないですはいよろしくお願いしますよろしくわーい<笑>お久しぶりですしほさん本日はよろしくお願いしますペペロンさんよろしくお願いしますキヨカンおやおキヨカン How are you doing? はいでは OK here we go with the first match and immediately I'm held forced to pop the birds because Nehru got that pesky little to the end That being said, just give me one second. I still need to check the bracket just in case. I'm gonna check my audio as well. Okay, we're good, we're good. All good, all good. Okay. <clears throat> Here's where we go with the Agitato. I'm help has the corner pressure. Goes for the hover. Should be able to get that wall splat directly. Ooh, okay. Uh, decides to keep his tension bar, possibly for the. Oh, post wall break. And very nice read right there, catching that wild. Assault straight with the grab for the kill. Very nicely done. How are you doing, Kill Cannon? Long time no here. How are you doing? And here we go with the grab from Nero. Nero has the corner positioning. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, one second, guys. So thank you. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Uh, I should have prepared some tea right there. My, uh, my, my, um, how do you call it? My throat is scratchy. Feel scratchy right now. Uh, one second, please. Here we go. I'm still checking the brackets. And here we go with the hover, and the pressure is real from I'm Help. Goes for the Roman cancel and gets the kill. First match goes to I'm Help 1 0. What is Neri gonna do? We shall see. Very nicely done. And on to the second match. Who redeemed the banana though? Was it me? I didn't even see. Oh, kill. Okay, kill. Okay, kill redeemed the banana. Okay, nice. Again, here we go with the hover. Very nice counter hit from I'm Help already with the corner. Oh, the corner positioning. That being said, unfortunate timing from him. He was not able to get that 2k uh, in, but still keeps the corner. Decides to keep his burst gauge and not use a wild assault to secure a heavy knockdown. A nice flick right there from Nehru. Manages to out, but yeah, yeah, the pressure is too strong. And the confirms are here from I'm Help gets the second. The first round, actually, quite, um, quite convincingly. Yo, Zemthor, good evening, how are you doing? And on... <coughs> Ooh, that was a big 2D counter hit. Very, very nicely done from Nehru. Nehru goes for the quarter pressure. Ooh! And here we go with the... Oh! The reflect. No! Oh, Garuda impact. Oh! And that trade on the... <coughs> on the... Um, what's it called? The, the stroke bow. From there, he was not able to keep the pressure going on. If, oh no, and that hover over uh, the. Yeah, Nehru. Nehru definitely struggling right there to keep I'm Help off of his back. Then again, this matchup is definitely not in favor of Pot, if I might say. And I'm Help is definitely not your normal run in the mill, you know, either. Should be enough to kill. Yes, it is. I'm Help takes the second match as well what is Neru gonna do what is Neru gonna do <coughs> very nicely done <coughs> and on to the next the battle big mega fist right there Ooh, that was big garuda impact indeed mm. this time i'm held trying to bait the flicked ah, i got hit yet again by the flick though okay i'm held gets the <coughs> at the pressure but well, thankfully for him, he was able to uh, to force Nero to pop the burst. Nero should be able to... Oh, no! Wrong choice, but still gets the kill thanks to the 6. He uh, converted into the Heat Knuckle right afterwards. I think it was a Heat Knuckle. I didn't uh, pay enough attention, actually. But it's still fine. Nero finally get one round. He's got the corner positioning. Here we go with the Garuda Impact. Again with the Garuda Impact. Goes for the flick. And Roman cancel to keep the pressure going. I tries to get the 2D, but unfortunately I'm helped over it, over it. And was able to punish it accordingly. And the pressure is real big. W yeah, wall break. I'm helped using the wild assault in order to secure that. Oh, that heavy knockdown. This should be a four. Narrow for this round, that is. We are going on to possibly, potentially the... Uh, final round of this set. We shall see. Let me check the bracket and write really, really quickly just in case. It should be fine. Yeah. Bracket is going fine. Nice confirm from there. He gets the heat knuckle. Should get back some space. Oh, here we go. The slider head a little bit 
too late, too uh, too early actually. Would have caught I'm help in uh, on his way down from the uh, from the um, uh, what's it called from the chemical love. Nice combo right there from I'm help. Gonna get that hard knockdown. Here we go with the hover. Nice blocks from Nehru. Unfortunately, I gets open thanks to, a to the Agitato. Again, why? Nice blocks. Oh no, couldn't quite get the heat knuckle though. Yeah, this is really bad for. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a big mix up. I'm helped not finishing his plate though. He might live to regret it. Oh, okay, here we go. Emergency burst right there and the trade in favor of I'm helped. Was able to. Uh, to, to finish everything. Anyways, I'm help. Oh, okay. Which one? Yes, so I'm help. We got it. Let me put. Let me do something. Uh, I didn't have the time to do anything. They started playing right away. But it's fine, it's fine. Anyways, here we go. Start the predictions. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. Yep, FAB is here. <laughs> the god of the. Oh, Temkins. So let's see how this pans out. Johnny Pepperoni, of course, rocking Johnny. <laughs> well, actually, it's not Pepperoni, it's Pepperoni. Big, big, big. Oh, good lord. That was sick. That RC straight into the command grab for the kill from FAB. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. So, Johnny Pepperoni trying, yeah, trying to get close, but then again, you don't want to get too close to. Potemkin, especially one that is as good as FAB. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, finally, Pepperone trying to get something going. Ah, goes for all the miss finer. Goes straight into the straight into the the armor of FAB, who immediately cancels into the Roman cancel, obviously, and then goes for the command grab, man. Ah, ooh, and a standing P for the kill. First round goes to FAB. Very nicely done. So let's see if uh, if we can keep this up. We shall see. And on to the second round. And if AB man reads everything, every single thing, man. Again, nope. This time around, no command grab. Ah, that hard. That reach though. Good start. From Pepperoni got out of the corner successfully. Okay, oh, gets the jump in. Unfortunately, too far to get anything going, but gets the jump in this time around. Should be able to get the wall break. No, too late. I believe it wasn't uh, it wasn't planned, but it's fine. Big slider head right there, and ooh, a little bit too late on the cancel of the uh, of the hop right there. Ah, nice blocks right there from Pepperone, trying to get it. Wow, FAB so on point when it comes to roaming canceling and straight trying to get that uh, that uh, command grab. And you can see that Pe Pepperone was actually waiting for it as well. Immediately jumped out of the pressure. Exactly, man. Slight heading into the DMs of Pepperone, man. And again with the slight head. Ah, yep. No one's home here. Again, a slight head. Just one more command grab would be enough to kill. Or really just one combo, anything. Oh, there we go. Pepperone got something going on and he gets the kill. Finally, not out of this yet. It is not over till it's over. Let's see how... John Pepperone can secure this win, we shall see. Here we go with the corner positioning, gets the feet, and the slider head. Wow, how many slider heads can you put in one slider head? Here we go with the jump in. Ah, yeah, Pepperone trying to get in, man, but FAB, his commanding presence, man. How do you get close to this, man? Oh, that was the opportunity right there. Unfortunately for Pepperone, he gets the side switch. And he definitely did not want the side switch at that particular moment. Wow, that was crazy freaking. That was a very, very, very... No, and here we go with the Mega Fist. Finally, if maybe in. A little bit too far to get the second. Oh, Mega Fist, but can't stop freaking. Mega Fist, Roman cancel right into the command grab. And here we go with the Wild Assault. Tries to get the command grab. Wow. To just defend the, the, inst uh, the instant block, I'm sorry, straight into the standing key for the kill by FAB, man. This dude. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Again with the Miss Finer. John Pepperone trying to get the kill. Ooh! Notices the, the slider head. Um, the slider head coming out. Immediately jumps out. Well, cancels actually into the hop. 
in order to uh, get over no oh, the super armor but that being said look at this is gonna do so much damage oh no okay the resets okay definitely wanted the resets right there that was definitely planned and look at this man oh no johnny pepperone what's gonna happen one more hit one more hit one more hit ah almost got the punish though yeah the wild assault actually recovered quite quickly and the four HS for the kill. FAB takes the second match as well. What is Johnny Pepperone gonna do? We shall see. Okay, let me see if anybody contacted him. Nope. Okay, good. No news, good news. I love it when people don't contact me. That's good. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we're good. FAB Sun is here as well. Okay, we're good. Everything going fine. Ah, oh, Lord. FAB with the chicks. Tries to go for second Garuda impact. Oh lord, and the 6 feet right into the hop of, of Johnny, man. FAB on point. But it's gonna be. Oh lord. The big counter hit right there from Johnny Pepperone. Finally, he's in. Finds, gets the mix. Forces FAB to pop the burst, but that being said, look at. Oh! <laughs> that was sick. It seems like FAB has a radar, you know, and once he knows, when when the radar detects that the enemy is like close enough, immediately Roman's castle and grabs your ass right away. That was so sick, man. That was so freaking sick. Good stuff from FAB, man. Good lord. It just went again. Slider hit, bro. Okay, we're good. Sorry for the wait. But yeah, that was sick, man. Holy freaking lord. And the shoulder bash for the kill. FAB takes it. A clean. Pay attention. That's okay. Let's uh, keep the let's keep the uh, the in-game uh, the in-game BGMs, and then during the uh, next match, I'm going to turn them off. Okay, and on to the next battle. And here we go with Ibushigi Roy. Much appreciated, Miss Loop. Ah, yeah, I didn't I didn't pay enough attention. And here we go with the corner pressure from Roy. Goes for the mix-up right after the uh, the revolver. That being said, Hagiara is definitely up with ooh, a lot of mixes by themselves. Ooh. And again, Roy with the corner pressure this time around. Goes for the low mix-up. And Roy with the confirms on the standing K. Immediately catching Hagiara out of the air and getting that corner carry for the kill. Okay, good awareness from Roy right now, trying to dispatch them pesky, them pesky minions. That being said, he is in the corner right now. He did get scooped out of the air, out of the recovery of his uh, bended, his bended uh, revolver, this bended bringer. Sorry. Here we go with the revolver mix. This time around, Hagiara manages to block it correctly. Goes for the safe jump. He's got the corner pressure. Hagiara needs to be very careful because Roy absolutely loves to um, just let the DP rolling. He has a very high uh, success rate when it comes to just mashing DP and getting it out. Oh lord! Oh, very nice standing HK right there, catching the back dash of Roy. Hagiara puts one on the board as well. Let's see how this spins out. And nice grab right there from Hagiara, catches. Roy out of the air. Uh, well, catches Roy on his recovery frame from of the revolver. Ooh, that was a very, very, uh, <coughs> a very uh, hopeful grab, if I might say. Grab attempt from Hagiara. Unfortunately for him, he gets wild assaulted and has to suffer a hard knockdown with corner carry right afterwards into a 50-50 mix. Roy tries to go for the vortex, unfortunately for him. Hagiara read it and just jumped out of harm's way. Nice uh, 2k 2d right there from Hagala. He's got the corner pressure, tries to go for the grab. Bandit uh, bringer. I'm sure that Roy wanted to uh, quick cancel it in order to have the, uh, a low mix up, but unfortunately he was a little bit off when it came to timing, but gets the kill with the 2s right at the end. Very nicely, first match for, for Roy gets the first match. Quite convincingly, but that being said, Hagala is definitely not. Uh, is definitely one for a comeback. It's definitely not impossible for him to do so. Very strong Jacob player, I have to say. Like, 
a lot of times a very strong tackle play. <clears throat> so here we go with the corner pressure from Hagiara. Wants to keep Roy in the corner. We're trying to get out. Finally gets out. Gets the close of Kawao. And that 6 is catching the back dash of Hagiara. He's going to get a lot of damage right there. Good lord, look at the damage you get hit. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Wild Assault for the hard knockdown. What's going to be the mix? Or the mix? Okay, no safe jump. Oh, tries to go for a fast here, but the spacing was a little bit off due to the fact that Hagiara tried to back away a bit. That being said, Hagiara has the corner pressure this time around. Goes for the grab. Ooh, didn't quite get the full OTG. Oh, the 2k no. Yeah, too far. No, to get anything out. Oh, again, very nice use of the, how do you call it? The uh, the wild reversal, I think it's called. Yeah, the wild reversal right there from Hagira. He knew that if he, uh, if Roy successfully uh, kept the pressure on him, he would have to face the bended revolver 50-50. And Hagiara knew that that was way too much of a chance to take. Big <laughs> Fafnir right there from Roy. Keeps the corner pressure. Goes for the safe jump. Ah, goes for the freaking 50-50 right after the bended revolver. And here we go with the hard knockdown. Again with the safe jump. Ah, uh, too late right there. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it was intentional, but it definitely worked out in favor of Roy this time around. Did not go for his usual 50-50 uh, mix-up. Probably due to a misinput, but he definitely converted it uh, correctly right after, so everything worked out well for him. Hagala down half health already gets it by the big 6 H uh, HS. And a counter hit at that. A good patience from Roy. Gets a hit on the minion. Ah, yeah, and this is gonna spell death for Hagala. Second match goes to Roy as well. Roy is on fire. Good lord. Good stuff from Roy. Definitely on a uh, on the Shinkansen right now. Right there, he wants to make his uh, he wants to make it as quickly as possible to the grand final. I do believe he lost to Hagala during our last Brojo Cup tournament, but correct me if I'm wrong. <coughs> I don't remember exactly correctly. It's been such a long time. That being said, Hagala force pop the burst tries to close the distance between him and Roy. Roy definitely does not want this to happen. Well, not if it's uh, pressure coming from Hagala, that is. And here we go with Roy opening Hagala up. Uses the Wild Assault to secure hard knockdown. Goes for the save jump and the 50-50. Oh, it was intentional. Yeah, that was definitely intentional. He does it. He probably does it when his opponent has a uh, has a tension bar to bait the uh, the YRC. So okay, it definitely was intentional. And here we go with the YRC. Oh, nice pacing from Ayala. <laughs> yeah, Roy has to yeah, get some bar back. Ooh! Oh no. One of the very rare instances where the 2k of uh, Jacko did not reach its opponent. <clears throat> and here we go with the minion spacing. Very nice punish right there on... The revolver of Roy. Oh, big DP right there from Roy, man. Ah, no follow up. Oh, nice standing K right there from Hagara. Got one minion on. Goes for the grab. Oh! And the sandwich. The minion sandwich right there. Completely caught um, Roy off guard and managed to secure the second round of this. Uh, of this third match for Hagiara. That being said, we are on set point. If Roy wins this one, he sends Hagiara directly to the loser's bracket. Let's see if Hagiara can actually make it back. We shall see. Oh, Lord. Oh, big trade right there. It would have spelled the feet right there for Hagiara, especially since he doesn't have burst anymore. Lost. Oh, lost its turn. Lost his turn. Oh, and again with the 50 50. Ah, big damage right there for Roy. Wild Assault, yes it is, yes siree. Is we're gonna try to bait the YRC, no. Ah, he should have. Oh, and a big belly baited revolver, then this is there. Good stuff from Roy, takes it a clean throw. Damn, we have Lucy Johnny versus Kohide. So Lucy Johnny, big, 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 Bridget, original Bridget player. He used to be called Usui uh, Buri, so short for Bridget, because in Japanese they call her, well, they shorten her name to Buri.
actually. So he used to be a very big Bridget uh, player, but once Johnny came out, we just switched to them, to him. And uh, yeah, actually has very, very decent uh, tournament results. Uh, went several times in top three in other tournaments and also in the Brojo Cup as well. So that very strong player manages to bait the burst right there from Kohide. To be able to get, yep. Ore no Nawa. Be able to get that uh, hard knockdown right there. Good stuff from Musi Johnny. Good morning, Shadow Jay. How are you doing, Pong Jay, man? Long time no see, man. And here we go with the spacing from Kohide. Manages to get that. Uh, ooh, Lord! Oh, the freaking Nasante right on the RC of of, of Uzi Johnny. That was sick from Koida. Should be able to get... Oh, no! She did not get well the solid in time. Uzi Johnny takes this opportunity. Ooh, okay. That was very strange. That being said, very nicely done from Uzi Johnny. Managed to take uh, the uh, the first round very, very convincingly. Oh, yeah. I had a pretty nice birthday, man. Very, very nice. It, it like, it quints... It quints... It, Dated with coincidated, it was right on the same uh, timing as uh, Halloween in Japan. So I actually went out with uh, friends in Shibuya, and yeah, I was dressed as uh, what's what it called uh, Trafalgar Law from One Piece, and we ended up doing an all night. It was actually pretty good. I don't know. I have a very very nice birthday. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for for asking. That was cool. That being said, on to the next battle, and uh, Kokita already taking the second round of this first match. Very nice fake out right there from Musi Johnny. Managed to get the grab. And he's got the corner positioning. Let's see what Kokita is gonna do. Oh, he Ooh, Kokita getting open right there with the instant overhead using the Miss Finer, the aerial one that is. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, very, very brave 6P right there from Kokita gets the grab. Because we all know that Giovanna is a grappler. Here we go, the safe jump. Wow, man, the confirms from Musi Johnny with the 4 6 HS, man. Takes the first match very, very convincingly, man. The cojones on this man. Very nicely done from Musi Johnny. First match for them. Uh, yep, we are good. Everything good. Everything good. There we go. Pretty good. Sorry, I'm checking the bracket as well, just in case, we never know. And on to the second match, Kohide. Very nice tech attempt right there. For, well, tech, successful tech attempt from Lucy Johnny. Johnny with the Miss Finer. And two gets... Oh, wow, man. The Miss Finers are real. Going straight for the overdrive. Gonna get that hard knockdown. Goes for the... Ooh. Ooh, actually, Kohi did. I don't know. He probably went meant to go for a midi and didn't expect Kohi did to grab uh, so uh, quickly. Wow, man. These. <gasps> oh, the cross under from Kohi did. That was definitely intentional. Goes straight into the overdrive. Gonna get that hard knockdown. Goes for the safe jump. Ooh. And here we go with the corner pressure. Ooh. Nobody saw the double Nasante. And yeah. And again, yeah, yeah, there's only so many times you can block that quick dust from Kohide. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes the first round of that second match. Let's see if he can keep that pressure going. Okay, nice pacing right there from Kohide. Oh, gets the wildest all the counter hit on it, too. To be able to get that corner positioning. Ooh, drops the combo, maybe. Or maybe that wasn't a correct route. Goes for the spiral arrow. And the Wild Assault 40, guaranteed hard knockdown. Kuid has one tension bar. Gets the counter hit. No, didn't believe in it, but still, man, what the hell happened here? That was sick. Good surf from Kuid, man. Still noticing that he was about to drop. Well, that he definitely dropped whatever he was trying to. He couldn't confirm the counter hit, but immediately went with the RC, changed, went for like. At first, went for cross up, but then used the RC to go for. Uh, to to evade the entire from Usijani and then punish him on his recovery. That was really crazy. Good stuff from Kohide, man. As expected from Kohide. Ooh, here we go. The Miss Finer though. Try to go for the instant overhead Miss Finer, but Kohide immediately popped in the burst. Does not want to have to guess. Nice tech right there from Usijani. Ooh, goes for the Miss Finer. I smell a overdrive wake up from Kohide if this pressure continues. Nice air to air counter hit from Kohide. Again, man, with the point, he's gonna get a conversion straight into the wall break. Too far to get the last hit in order to secure the wall splat, but still with the grab into the wall break. Good stuff 
from Kohide. Let's see how this pans up. Fura Fura! <laughs> Ooh, no, and they're right there. And again with the point it. For the kill. Good stuff from Kohide. He takes the first round of this third match. And on to the next battle. Oh, no punish on the... Uh, what's it called? The, um... I keep forgetting it. It's the, um... The troll vow, I think. No, it's not the troll. It's the other one. I keep forgetting. But it's fine. I'm gonna call it the, um... The spiral arrow. It's easier. <laughs> oh, no! You see Johnny trying to get that, uh... Side switch, unfortunately, too far for it. Uh, the misfinder? Yeah, I wasn't quite... Yeah, yeah, misfinder for Johnny. I was talking about the, um... The spiral arrow of of, Kokide, of, um, of Giovanna. I forgot the name. It's uh, not Puente. It's not uh, Trovao. It's uh, I forgot the name. Completely forgot it. I'm 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 lazy to to Google it. How are you doing, Bueno? By the way. And here we go with oh Lord. Uh, Lucy Johnny getting out of the corner. Woo! Gets that jump in though. A nice, nice instant block. That was crazy. Just blocked. And here we go with the corner pressure from Yusui Johnny gets the air to air. Should be able to get a wall break at least. I practiced with Kami in Street Fighter 6 for two days straight and I'm getting comfortable with the drive mechanics. I love Kami a lot. I'm glad to be a Kami player. Yeah, man. Kami is awesome. Busy with work and filming stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I can tell. <laughs> I always see your posts that you're... So, sorry guys. I'm talking with... Uh, I'm, I'm multi-streaming right now. So, I'm talking to both Twitch chat and, and YouTube chat. So, if you hear me talk or respond to a question or you know react to something and you don't see the message that's because i'm i'm talking to the other platform so anyways yeah bueno um yeah i saw your your posts on uh your posts on uh twitter and you seem pretty busy yeah <laughs> anyways here we go with ooh that ooh that trade in favor of usu johnny was able to uh to convert and here we go the juggle kohide getting that closest counter hit should be able to get the wall break is gonna do a ton of damage. Look at the damage, good freaking lord. It's good that this is chat is pretty low latency. Yeah, man, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, the, the latency is very, very low. Oh, and Lucy Johnny should be able to get that one or not, actually, man. The proration is crazy. Crossplay and cross chat, exactly. I'm a, I'm a sucker for everything that's crossed, man. Oh, no, and you blocked it. You couldn't block it. Ah, uh, careful there. Yeah, Koide trying to get that that winning hit in. Ooh, okay, that was strange. Oh, Lord, and Juicy Johnny, man. That was crazy, good stuff. And Juicy Johnny getting that uh, fourth match. Actually, that's enough out of me. Let's watch some... G yeah, no problem, Shadow J, man. Thanks. Yeah, I, I also played a lot of Kami and uh, managed to get her in the Master, actually. That's pretty nice. I, I really like Street Fighter 6. It's pretty, it's pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm, I'm looking forward to Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, actually. The Rising version. I'm really looking forward to it. I played the beta quite a lot and I really loved what I saw. So I'm probably gonna be playing it a lot uh, in the coming days when it comes out. Yeah, there was some DNF tech, yeah, bueno. <laughs> and here we go with all oh, the juggles, Kohide! Straight with the Wild Assault combos. Gonna go for the save jump. Oh, wow, what the hell was it? Oh, he messes his fuzzy, but it's still fine. Gets the grab for the kill. Kohide on a match point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? We shall see. And here we go with the oh, spiral arrow. Kohide with the corner pressure. Goes for the spiral arrow again. Oh, no, that whiffed. Nasante, he hate to see it. Okay, nice take pressure right there from Kohide. Wakes up with standing P straight into the RC. Now gets out of the corner, gets the side switch into the grab. Ah, uh, yeah. You see Johnny out of the corner, gets the hit with the far HS. Oh, gets the, the freaking aerial miss fire. Goes straight into the overdrive. Kaboom! Get out of here. Awesome cam grabs on making master rank with Kami Tanks. Shadow J, much appreciated. Here we go, the Miss Miner again with the aerial Miss Miner and gets the kill. Damn, guys, we're going on to the last match. The last round of the last match. Who is going to send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see big 6p counter hit from Koide. Going to get the juggle. Three into the Wild Assault. Koide does not have any burst left. Ah, uh, that being said, yeah, Johnny is in very dire straits. Not going to lie. Gets hit by the Puente. Three into the RC for big damage. Too far to get that last hit. 
Oh, big Miss Finer. Ooh, Lord, no! Gets hit by the standing F. Big 6P, and this should be enough to kill. Yeah, Quaid is not gonna let this go. No, he drops it, but goes straight for the tap dunk for the kill. And Kohita takes it. It's always a treat. That being said, we have entered the winner semifinals. Mugi versus Ibushigin Roy. Let's see how, how this pans out. I do believe that last time, the Rising Battle was so good. It was, bro. I I think I played uh, around 200 matches in in three days. <laughs> it was really good. I really loved everything about it. The only my the only pet peeves I have with the game is that you can tech uh, grabs with a normal. Like if if your opponent match mashes and you try to grab them, they'll take the throw. And I feel like it's it's strange. It should not be the case. I feel like. You should only be able to tech with a, a, a grab of your own, basically, because it it just nullifies the need to uh, to you cannot like shimmy your opponent anymore. You cannot you cannot like uh, run towards them, then jump in order to bait a grab attempt, and then land on them and get a, a big combo. You see what I mean? So I feel like it, it's kind of dumb and it, it, it's kind of unfortunate that they decide to take this route to be able to take the throw just with a, a regular a regular hit, you know. Regular button tech just reduces damage, right? Yeah, uh, it, yeah, it does, it does. But it's still a way to take the throw in the end, and it it it, uh, it kind of um, it uh, it uh, resets neutral. That's my biggest pet peeves with it. Uh, so Gwenwo from YouTube said, "I had a lot of fun with Grand uh, Blue uh, during the beta. Oh yeah, it was really good." And Gwenwo said, "Go Roy! I love the Rising Beta. Yeah, the Rising Beta was so good. I really loved it a lot." And while I was talking, Mugi already taking the first match with his uh, signature. Now I go to Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> nah, just kidding. You didn't like it? I loved the Rising Beta, man. I really, really freaking loved it. I never got a chance to play it. That's unfortunate. It does seem a bit too eager to be casual friendly by just letting you panic. Yeah, exactly. That's why I kind of... Uh, it's one of my pet peeves. And there's... I have another pet peeve. But it's it's okay. It's, oh, it's not like a deal breaker for me. Not... Not at all, you know. What was the deal breaker actually was uh, the pre-beta. When, uh, first and foremost, all of the meta was around guard breaking your opponent. And uh, my second, pe and, and during the first beta I'm talking about, okay. And the other problem that I had, a very big problem, was again with the throws. But it was that the throw window was so damn freaking big. That was like, you, can't, you could take throws on reaction, which in my opponent, in my opinion, was completely dumb. So they, they still, they, they managed to like solve both of these problems and make it so that it's actually really viable as a as a fighting game. But I just feel like they should go all in with it, with the, the throw and just make it so that you cannot take it unless you actually press throw as well. You know, I feel like it would then, you'd be able to play around shimmies, you'd be able to play around around uh, jump ins and whatnot, you know, that, that's what I feel. Uh, I didn't get into the first beta, but everybody I've seen who did play it agreed that the first beta, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't great at all. But now the second beta, man, that, the second beta was really good. Like, I really had a lot of fun. I had a ton of fun with the beta. So I'm definitely going to buy the game. Uh, I think I'm going to buy it. I, I'm first going to check because apparently the game is going to have like a free version. So uh, with the free version, you get uh, to play Gran and you get like four characters in rotation. And uh, depending on whether or not you can purchase characters individually on the free version, because I only really, I'm only gonna play one character or two at most. I'm not gonna play the whole cast, so I'd rather like wait to see if I can uh, use the free version and buy individual characters on it. And if I cannot, then I'll just settle with the base version of the game, because both of the characters I want to play are gonna be on it. So, but yeah, it's basically my my plan for now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm de definitely gonna play the shit out of this game, man. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, yeah, the second bit was really good. Uh, so Bueno from YouTube, they actually listed to the feedback and were transparent during the... Yeah, they were, man. And the most important thing is that they implemented every single... They 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 uh, implemented every single change that the players wanted uh, to have during the first beta. So the first beta came out, the players complained, and they listened to every single feedback that the players gave and they implemented it in the second beta and that is really really impressive it's super impressive wait grand blue is going to be have yeah it's going to have a free version you're going to have like uh but it's going to be basically the base game uh you're only going to have four players uh, four characters so that means that you're going to have grand grand is going to be like cemented 
he's gonna be uh, uh, mandatory like out of these four players, the four characters, and then you have three uh, players in rotation each each week, so randomly each week that you can play. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool, cool, pretty good. So Roy actually, man, making a comeback. Uh, yeah, yeah, wait, Grant, yes. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome, man. I'm really looking forward to it, man. And I freaking love this game. I know people hate this game. Uh, well, people hated the first one. Lots of people hated it due to the netcode, and that's totally justified. But in Japan, uh, we actually have a, a, a pretty reliable, uh, uh, like, how do you say? Internet connection. People have, like, reliable internet connections to the point that even delayed netcode is actually playable. So in Japan, the game was really played a lot, you know, lots of people played it, as me included. So I really hold the first Grand Blue Fantasy Versus in my heart a lot. I really love this game. So I'm really, really hyped for the fact that Rising, and I'm happy to see that Rising is getting such a positive um, and uh, and good feedback from the players, especially like Europeans and Americans who at first like couldn't really play the game because of the netcode, obviously. So I'm really, really happy. I'm, I'm really happy for the devs. I'm happy for the game itself. I'm happy for the community in general. So it's pretty cool. Roar is a soul god. Yeah, he is, he is, man. I'm buying Vyra and Vita, yeah. But the thing is, Shadow J, uh, it's not confirmed whether or not you can buy uh, characters individually with the free version. So my my expectation is that what, what I believe, what I guess is going to happen is that you won't be able to purchase uh, characters individually on the free version of the game. I don't think you, you, it's going to be possible. Because in that case, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's not going to be the case. But yeah, anyways, uh, back to the, um, the match. <laughs> yeah, good stuff from Roy actually manages to take the lead. Goes for the safe jump, and Mugi with the mash should be able to seal the... Yeah, should be able to seal it. Good stuff from Mugi. Hmm, takes the fourth match. Is it gonna go up until the last round of the last match? I think it will. I'm pretty sure it will. I suspect it will. Okay, good stuff from Mugi goes for the Wild Assault, gets the close S counter hit. He's gonna get the wall break. Boom! 6 HS. Look at the damage. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, try to go for the. Ooh. Nope. No burst from. Wow! Mugi sniffing that freaking wake up DP out. Good stuff from Mugi and perfect punish, by the way. Match point for Mugi. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, wow, wow. That was definitely an input error. Good confirms from Mugi. Gets hit by the far edge though. Roy on the ropes indeed. But Roy is definitely no stranger to very, very, um, very hard situation. It should be fine. Look at him. He's already on the verge of getting that comeback. Let's see what Mugi is going to do. Nice blocks from Mugi. Ooh, and that back dash. Are you serious? Oh, Lord. Man, that was sick. Let's see how Mugi does. No, Mugi uses the burst. I, I don't agree with this. I do not agree with this. I don't agree with this. <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with this. Yeah. Ah, that's unfortunate for Mugi. He's going to go into the last round of the last match with absolutely no burst. This is the worst possible scenario for him. He gets the first hit, though. Let's see how this comes out. Good lord. I still got Guilty Gear Strive when we played it once and watched the story that was it. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's a funny game, man. It's a very fun game. But it's a very oppressive game, though. <laughs> it's a stress-inducing game, I'd say, as well. <laughs> that bag dash from the far HS, though. Oh, okay, here we go with the wire. C tried to go for the command grab, but Roar did. Sniffing it out. To be able to get the... Yeah, the Wild Assault. Let's see how this spins out. Lord. Oh, Lord, that... Freaking mix up. <laughs> oh, and the tab does for the kill. Roy takes it. Uh, 3 2 2. Very, like, stress inducing game. Like, this game, like, literally made me completely crazy. That match was nuts. It was, man. It was. And it's not over yet. Look at this. Kokita versus FAB. How is this going to pan out? I really don't know how this is going to pan out. In my humble opinion, I do believe that the matchup is in uh, Giovanna's favor, but. That means nothing if your opponent is FAB. <laughs> that means literally nothing. So let's see how this pans out. FAB is like one of these rare people who really doesn't give an F about matchups and whatnot. He just plays and, and beats you. 
Oh, Lord. Ooh, that was a crazy just defend, though. Very nice back dash, though, from Kohide not to get hit by the slider head. No nice on tape there. Go, okay, finally gets the 2D. Nice just defend, man. This is great. Ooh, Lord. Big counter hit right there from, uh, from Kohide on FAB. Too far to get anything going, though, after the slider hit. Oh, nice checks right there. From FAB gets a counter hit. There we go, the Garuda impact. Ooh, tries to go for a... Ooh, Lord. Nice grab from Giovanna. Nikoi did with the spiral arrow. Should be able to get... Yeah. It's a pretty nice damage goes for the Nasante. Ah. Big slider hit again. Ah, oh, Ken-san. Ton amel no chat to mite mo... Morai... Ah, gomen nasai. Kya sai. Ima sugu ni maa. Eto ne, eto ne. Kimpan dita. ました。ちょっと。あれ。えっと、そうなんですよ。えっとね、ごめんなさい。あ、ギャラさんどこ えっと、3試合、え、3試合目をしてる時に、えっと、3のネットワークが切りました。はい。まあ、どうしよう。えっと。まあ、ごめんなさいね。じゃあ、萩原さん、えっと、の優勝にさせていただきますね。申し訳
an execution error, but it wasn't the case. Good stuff from Kohide, goes straight for the tab dust and should be able to get the kill. Yes, the kill, and I do believe it's 3 to nil. No, actually, we still have one more round to go. Now let's see how this pans out. Good with punish from Kohide, already with the corner carry and the corner pressure. Forcing FAB to actually spend some tension bar in order to get Kohide off of his back. Oh, Lord, gets hit, gets hit by the crew, in fact, you hate to see it. There we go with the flick. Ah, too far to get, yeah, to get the pot buster going or to get an entire, wow, the 6 man. <laughs> that was sick. Nice reach from FAB, gonna get the corner carry, the corner pressure. Ah, big wire C right there from Kohide, he gets out of the corner. Back Mega Fist, oh, wow, that flick, man. The flick went so freaking far. Let's see how this spins out. Big back mega fist. Almost got the links. Gets it by the Nasante. Out of any move, the Nasante. Big butt slam. Here we go with the Garuda impact. Ah, good stuff from FAB finally putting one on the board. FAB is not out yet. If anybody can make a comeback, it is definitely this dude. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Oh, but there's a restream bot actually that uh, that sends the message in Twitch. That's actually pretty neat. That is pretty freaking neat. I wasn't aware of this. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Anyways, here we go with the uh, the burst from FAB. <laughs> Big mega fist right there from FAB. Gonna get the slider head. Ooh. Here we go with the uh, the mega fist. Just one second, guys. I'm gonna check real quick something. And FAB with the command scoop. <laughs> Good stuff from FAB. One second, guys. Oh, okay, that's cool. Damn, technology. Yeah, first time that I'm actually restreaming right now, so I'm checking both chats, and yes, there is a restream bot that, restre that, um, that sends the message to both chats. I wasn't aware of it. That is pretty freaking neat. Technology, bro. And here's Eruga the grab. FAB getting scooped. Who gets hit by the freaking? Ah. Gets hit by uh by the the spiral arrow. Koi did with the grabs. Goes for the grab again and gets the kill. We are going on to the set point. Well, let's see if Koi can seal the deal or if FAB can actually make a comeback. Oh, big counter hit right there from. FAB goes for the Karuda impact, wants to get that knockdown, goes for the Wild Assault into the scoop! Look at the damage, look at the damage, look at it! It's staring you right in the face! <laughs> look at that damage! Good lord! Big Garuda impact, second Garuda impact, ooh, too far to get it! Oh no, you don't want to let no Kohida win, but good stuff from FAB managed to actually pull a comeback, that was crazy! As expected from... A V Potemkin the God. <laughs> Good stuff from FAB. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, nice back dash right there from Koi. Did not to get hit by the slider head. Woo! Oh, here we go, the slider head. Good stuff from FAB. Good lord. Yo, side me so come on Chuba. And here we go with Oh, the spiral arrow. Let's see how this pans out. Boom! Here we go the butt slam straight into the command grab! Okay, wake up. Yeah, overdrive. Or not. Oh, no. Too late for the... Oh, no. That is gonna, not going to be good. Thank you so much. It's a fast move, please. Oh, Lord. Oh, the big hammer fall. Oh, and the scoop. FAB bringing it back, catching the back dash from freaking Kohide. That was sick. That was so sick, man. FAB with the next level reach. Okay, it's not over till it's over, though. If anybody can make a comeback also, it's definitely Kohide. But if maybe with the 6p right into the heat knuckle, man, look at the damage. But it's still fine. Let's see how this spins out. Big slider head, catches the back dash with the hammer fall. Nice confirm from Kohide. Wants to find the opening. Oh, Lord, the hammer fall. Yeah, damage is definitely adding up. Nice confirms right there from Kohide. Oh, man. Oh. FAB all, oh, almost got the command grab. He gets a butt slam though. Is that going to be enough to kill? I think it is. I think it is. And FAB, man, cynical heat in the loser's bracket on the freaking semifinals. That was sick. Three to two.
Okay, so, uh, what's going on? Yep, need to get rid of this. Okay, sorry for the wait. I should have been more like, uh, yeah. So, this is Atem san. Tashka ni osaru tori, eh, to hakai sore ba yokatta mes. Heya o, sono, sono, temo arimashita yo ne. Yeah, anyways, on to the next battle. This is the loser's bracket. Is is going to be none other than Harakiri versus Achan. So Harakiri versus Achan. Two newcomers actually. Uh to the to the uh to the Cup. So Harakiri son rocking the very mean scene. Shit sin scene. Who the hell is seen? Loisan Yarukima so this is Minna Yaruki Mamas de FAB and Roy were itching to. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, we have like a very strict. Uh, not a strict, but I have like um, a procedure that I really like to follow because it's easier to really keep tabs on what is going to be the next uh, battle and it's easier for me to update like the names and whatnot. So I have like this procedure that I really want the players to follow and I really send like directives in the chat. So if they don't read it, it's gonna be a little bit problematic. <laughs> So it's really just this, but it's fine, it's fine. You know, everybody everybody uh, is eager to win and uh, it's getting actually pretty late in Japan, so I can understand when people want to really go straight, but it's fine, it's fine. It's really not a problem. Anyways, on to the next battle and first, uh, second round actually goes to uh, Harakiri. Get six speed though by Acha. Here we go with the close pressure. And here we go with the ball. Yeah, I should have, I should have. Uh, so Atem also. Uh, posted in the chat that all uh, I needed to do is actually just uh, kill the room. That's what I should have done, you know. I'm, I'm really dumb. I'm really... I didn't think about that. I panicked. <laughs> but anyways, first, uh, match goes to Achan. Very nicely done, by the way. Rock's Batman, by the way. I just realized right now. But this is, yeah, probably the first Batman that we have in the top eight of the Virgil Cup. So this is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Can here we go with the confirms from Achan. Gonna get that corner pressure. We go with the jump in and the corner first. Look at this, man. When are you supposed to press a button? I don't know. Okay, big overdrive right there from Achan. Gonna get a ton of damage. What is gonna be the wake up? The big wild assault right post uh, wall break. That was crazy. Good start from Achan gets the first round of the second map. Okay, and on to the next battle. Okay, here with the grab from Harakiri, gonna get that gr that corner pressure straight into the Tyrant Ray for the kill. Yeah, that's crazy, right? That is the first time we have either of these characters in the top eight, so I'm very, very happy. That's freaking awesome. But yeah, the the only problem is that one of them will have to go right after this match. This is the only like um, unfortunate thing that is going to happen from this uh, this match. Ooh, very nice punish on the wild assault of um, of uh, Achan and Arakiri getting that kill, man. Good stuff with a perfect, nevertheless. Good freaking lord. Well, let's see how this pans out. Araki even the odd one match apiece. Here we go, the grab from Harakiri. And we're we going to 2k2d. Oh! Achan with. Oh no! Getting hit by that wake up DP though from Harakiri. Okay, nice. Button presses right there from Harakiri. Gonna get the wall break. No hard knockdown though. Here to where in favor of Achan gets hit by the freaking. Reach from Harakiri. Harakiri getting the first round of this uh, third match. Oh wow, the just defend though, the just block was crazy. Big hog breaker right there from Harakiri. Gonna get a full punish. Look at this damage. Good lord. Straight into the Tyrant Rape. For the hard knockdown. down. Is Harakiri gonna get. Yeah, gonna straight for. A straightforward um, pressure. No, I got hit by the wall. By the wild assault. Too far to get the wall break though. You hate to see it. Big six speedo from Harakiri. Gonna get the corner carry. 
in the wall break as well. I didn't think it would actually reach. That was sick. Oh, Lord. Ah, big jump in right there for Ramachan, forcing the burst from Harakiri. Ah, in the corner pressure, man. What is gonna be the mix? And the hook breaker for the kill. No! Ooh! I thought he was gonna drop it. I really thought he was gonna drop it one second. Okay, good stuff from Harakiri gets the second match. Let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> and on to the next battle. Ooh, Lord! That air to air counter hit from Achan. Gonna drop first blood. Oh, Lord! Oh, that's six feet! Oh, nice reactions from Achan. Gets the 2S counter hit. He's gonna get the corner pressure. Careful there. Yep. That yeah, was definitely in favor of Achan. Gonna get the hard knock down. Ooh, and the explosion. <laughs> Big AOE right there from Harakiri who gets scooped by it. Okay, nice uh, neutral jump from Harakiri who was able to punish the wild assault accordingly. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he will. What is gonna be the follow up? Ooh, nice. Ah, nice bar. Harakiri again, man, with the reach. Straight into the Tyrant Ray for the kill. With a perfect, nevertheless. And we are on set point. Is Haraki gonna be able to take it? Ooh, nice trade in favor of Achan, I'd say. Gets the Wild Assault in. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, Lord! Ah, the Abori from Achan makes it so that he gets his turn back. Not afraid to press button, not afraid of the Hogbreaker. Oh, Lord. Oh, no! Got hit by the overhead. Nice air to air right there from Harakiri. Gets a full combo. Gonna get the wall break. Again with the wild assault round start. Man. Uh, post post uh, post wall break. Ah, too far to get anything, but it's okay. He's get the humongous. Ah, this is death. Yep, you cannot do this. Good stuff from Atan. Evening the odds yet again. Are we going again till the last round of the last match? We shall see. Let's see how this spins out. Nice air to air right there from Achan. Gets a deep corner pressure. Too far for the explosion though. Oh, gets the forest. Ah, okay, nice. Very nice spacing and very nice neutral jump from Achan. Gets the safe jump. Look at what is happening. What is happening? Positive bonus for Harakiri. Ah, gets the far. I do believe it's the far HS. Gonna get the DP. Oh, wow, wow, that was definitely a misinput. Ah, uh, again with the DP, but Achan was on point. Gonna get the RC extension into the kill with the overdrive. No sorry, and we are on set point, and this time around for Achan, who <laughs> early received uh, the, the set point, the, 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 the winning point, yeah. Anyways, uh, Achan forcing uh, Haruki to pop the burst. Gets the wild assault. Wow, goes for a crazy grab. Right after the explosion. Oh, big DP and gets the conversion. Are you serious? That was six straight into the ride the lightning. The boom. Okay, what's gonna be the mix? Nice. Uh, <laughs> nice wild reverse. Ah, uh, again with the DP, man. That has been. Definitely working in favor of Harakiri. Harakiri using the RC to extend his pressure. Ah, he wants that corner pressure. Nice grab. He's gonna go for a, yeah, overhead. And the Abari, man, from Achan. Afraid of the DP this time around. Oof. Wow, nice. Oh, Lord. No, oh, the back does oh, He's got the bait on the burst. And this should spell death. Yeah, this is definitely death. Oh, <laughs> with the OTG. Right in sync with the sound, with the song. That was pretty crazy. Good. And yes, it is Kai indeed. So, uh, with, 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 with. Oh, yeah, we're good to go. So, Hagera versus Marone. Marone uh, has actually defeated Hagera previously. Well, in the previous iteration of the Rojo Cup. Extremely strong Kai player, by the way. I'm always, like, very surprised that he doesn't have, like, better uh, tournament results. Because when this guy really gets going, it's really hard to stop him. As you can see already. Hagara has not touched him a single time and actually wins with the perfect? Yes, indeed. 
Damn, man. Actually proving my case, you know. That is crazy. Good stuff from Moran. Let's see if he can keep this up or if uh, Hagara is going to be able to bring it back. We shall see. Ah, and Hagara has their minions on deck. Yeah, tries not to get hit by the stunnage. <laughs> oh, big 6P right there, counter hit. Get the side switch as well, man. That was pretty good. Ah, big wake up DP though from Ron catches the back dash with the 2S. Goes straight into the right the lighting. Is he gonna get the wall break? Yes, he is. Okay, what is gonna be the mix up or the offense? Straight, just <laughs> regular, <laughs> um, regular, what's it called? Safe jump. Ah, nice stun nipper right there from Maron. Catches the back catch. <laughs> but Hagala catching that freaking baiting the burst. Gonna get the kill actually, I think. Yes, he does. With the Legion Driver. And on to the final round. Who is gonna take the first map? We shall see. I'm gonna get uh, grab a, a glass of water, guys. Blue right back. Okay, we're going with the Elysian Driver, and Hagala manages to take the first match pretty convincingly. But Moron did win the first round with a perfect, so it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility for him to make a comeback. We shall see. Okie dokie, <laughs> Resident Cookie, Hagara has a knockdown. Wow, manages to get the hit on his guard point. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, we're good to stun edge. Meron definitely trying to get that hit on Hagara to nullify every single. Oh, minion on deck. Gets the hit with the far HS. Should be able to get the wall break. Straight into the wild assault for the hard knockdown. <laughs> A nice tick from Hagara. Did not get hit by uh, the grab attempt from Maron, but did get hit by the follow up of the trade in favor of Maron in the corner. A nice confirm from Maron, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, that pesky minion. Uh, nice use of the stunnage to dispatch the minions. Almost got hit by the 6 feet. Okay, here we go with Hagiara. Gets the minion on deck. Oh man. You hate it when the minions actually nullify your your project out. That being said, look at this. Look at the damage right there. From Moran. Very nicely done. Here we go with the safe jump. Oh, gets the bait on the grab. Almost got the hit, but too far. A wee bit too far, that was so unfortunate, but does get the DP man. Oh, okay, try to get the burst bait, I guess. Nice delayed burst from Moran. <coughs> ah, okay, okay. That was a nice Abari from Hagara. We go to Fudra Dark. Ah, gets the freaking hit. The jump in, that was sick. Good stuff from uh, Moran. Almost got hit by the 6P. Again, gets scooped by the 2K, though. <laughs> and again, Moron with the jump back to punish the grab attempt from Hagiara. Takes the second match. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. Wow, that far is, man. The bane of my existence. Okay, this is a pretty bad spot for Moron. Gets hit by the 6P. Ah, uh, and I gotta get the bait on the burst and also the bait on the DP goes straight for the Legion Driver. This is gonna do a ton of damage, by the way. Damn, look at the damage. Well, it's still fine, though. Let's see how this spins out. And a regular grab for the kill for Hagiara. 
takes the slight lead in this screen match. Wow, that whiff punish on the, the sword. Mm. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, I got in the corner, gets hit by the wake up DP though from Moron. Moron with the corner carry, uses the wild assault to extend his <coughs> pressure, gets the 6 p.m. Was for the safe drop. Oh, again, man, with. Oh, too far to get, but it's fine, he's gonna get the kill. Wow, Moron! Moron playing very, very clean right now. Good stuff from Moron. Gets the third match. Let's see if he can keep it up. We shall see. No 6p, this is unfortunate, but it's still fine. Okay, Hagela has the corner positioning. Moron trying to dispatch the minions be before they become too numerous. Gets the bait on the burst though, you hate to see it. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out, goes for the safe jump. Wow, Hagela with the check on the Fudra Dark. Wow. Uh, no kill on the minions. Very nice use of 2k though. Not the 2k, the standing k to dispatch the minion. Oh lord, too far for the stun dipper though. Dude, that would have spelled death, wouldn't it? Oh, too far to get the direct left follow up. And here we go with the wake up DP, and this is gonna be death. I gotta take the lead 2 to 1. Driver! Good stuff from Hagata. He's the lead 2 to 1. Minna arigato indeed. And on to the next battle. Okay, here we go with Hagiara. Getting the corner positioning. I guess the 6p counter hit. He even gets the juggle and forces Moron to pop the burst. Add Moron a little bit off on his 6p timing though. Okay, nice trade. I'm uh, mostly in favor of Hagiara though. I got straight into the Elysian Driver for the hard knockdown and the damage as well. What is gonna be the mix? Nice! Wow, the sick pressure though from Hagara. They didn't let Moron move at all. Yeah, Moron. I gonna take the lead again with the whiff punish on the sword right there of Moron. That is crazy. That is definitely not like a. Random. It's definitely not random. Again, man, look at that. He's been doing this so often. Ah, wrong going in deep in order to uh, really, really be able to catch Hagara um, pressing buttons in the air and getting the counter hit. And look at the damage actually dealt. It's pretty good. Let's see. Here we go, the stun hit. Managed to get the hit in. I tried to get that. <laughs> well, wow. okay. Wow, the 2k, man. The low profile of the 2k. Let's see how this spins out. Nice jump in right there from Meron gets the. Ah, uh, he tries to bait the burst, man, but ah, uh, I get a. Uh, again with the Sun Dipper. Almost got the bait of the burst. <clears throat> Let's see. Tries to get the stunage to hit Hagara in order to dispatch, to dispose of the, the minions. Ah, uh, look. <laughs> nice, he's got the jump in. This should be enough to kill with the follow-up stun dipper. We're all not out of this yet. We are still on set point though. If Hagela takes this one, he eliminates Moron out of the tournament. Nice air to air counter hit right there from Hagela. Gonna get the corner comp the carry. And here we go with the jump in. Ooh. Wow, that oh <laughs> that was sick. Okay, a bit of a scramble here from Moron. Finally manages to get Hagela. I do the YRC! Moron had the correct idea. Just the unfortunate timing. <laughs> oh, he tried to get the golden burst, but no! I got it was too far for it. Nice! Read of the grab again. This has been the bane of I got I'm not gonna lie. Oh lord. We go with stun edge. Ooh, the stun the pedal! No, no, I got the bravery of this dude. Pressing 2k. Ah, this is gonna be this. Nice for Hayala right there. Using the RC to catch the backdash of Moron. Okay, versus Achan. This is this is one matchup I've never seen in my life personally. But then again, I don't play either characters. But uh, yeah, this is bound to be a pretty interesting matchup. I have no idea in, uh, whose favorite it is, but uh, 
Well, on a whim, I would say that well, the zoning of Bedman can probably be pretty annoying for for Nagoriyuki, I think. So probably I'd, I'd say in Bedman's favor, maybe potentially. I don't know. If uh, you guys know, then please uh, don't hesitate to let me know in the chat. But I'd personally say it might be in favor of Bedman. Maybe I don't know. But then again, if Bedman like gets um, if he's on the receiving end of the pressure, it might be very very hard for. Uh, Bedman to get out of it. So it really depends, I guess. That being said, here we go with Achan applying the pressure. Gets the hit in, by the way. Goes for the wild assault and Mugi letting it rip. Gets the hit in. It's not gonna kill by any means, but it is definitely gonna enable Mugi to get the offense back and to apply pressure. Ah, here goes the YRC. Atian with the ah uh, the mine the explosion but unfortunately loses to a mashing Mugi. <laughs> Not so mad, you know. Big stars around with the wild assault of course. Oh well, here we go the jump it and a uh, what's it called a um, option selected that too. That was pretty cool. Okay here we go. You are in limbo, sir. You can see Atian going very deep in order to force Mugi to pop to press a button and perhaps get a counter hit it in the process. Okay, but look at this. When are you supposed to press a button? But Mugi finding the absolute best timing to do so and gets his uh, gets his uh, turn back. Here we go with Mugi getting the wall break. Oh, big part S counter hit. That was huge. Ah, Chan gonna be able to seal the deal. No, too far to get the freaking 2 3 6 right there. That was unfortunate. Oh, big counter hit though from Achan. For, for, for Mugi. Ah, uh, yep, no one home. Oh, and Achan getting the kill with the projectile. Very nicely done. Okay, one match a piece, one round a piece. Let's see how this pans out. Achan spending a lot of time in the air. Uh, almost caught the bag dash right there from Mugi Mugi going straight for the wild assault. Woo! There we go, the air to air in favor of Achan this time around. Gonna get the uh, knockdown. Ooh, nice grab from Mugi though. <laughs> Achan trying to read that command grab, but yeah, Mugi was actually pretty reasonable this time around, did not pop the... Oh, hard knock number, are you serious? Achan had the correct read again, but yeah, just a timing issue right now. That was unfortunate. This is gonna be dead. First match goes to Mugi. Very nicely done. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see if Achan can uh, adjust to the current dilemma that is forced upon him. Here we go with the jump in. Achan with the pressure. Gonna get. Ooh, nice back dash from Mugi. Does not get hit by the explosion. And punishes Achan in the process. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, nice Abari right there from Achan. Gonna get its turn back. And the freaking D. The, the reversal, man. Reversal from Mugi. Noticing that uh, Achan was definitely gonna go for a follow up in his pressure. Okay, and here we go with the jump in. Good stuff from Achan, he's got the corner pressure. Gonna get the explosion. The little ball. The ball of hate. Ah yeah, that, that was that, that was yeah, GG. <laughs> that was impossible to see. Good stuff from uh Achan gets the first round of this uh, second match. Ah, Achan getting command grab though. Nice grab from Achan. Wow, that is a huge. We go with the wild assault for the hard knockdown. What is a D? Oh, the wake up. Here we go to YRC. Atian with the resets. Again with the super explosion. Oh, Lord. Ah, nice command grab right there from Mugi. Gonna be able to get a little. Ah, but no. Gets hit by the YRC, unfortunately for him. Ah, here we go to jump in. He's gonna be able to get the follow up. Ah, uh, yeah, this is bad for him. Nice fresh, man. <gasps> the pressure from Achan is freaking awesome. That is crazy. Manages to get one match off of Mugi. Let's see if they can continue in this uh, particular direction and perhaps seal the deal. We shall see. But so far, Mugi hasn't shown any sign of letting in... Of giving up, so... Let's see if Achan 
can continue to apply the pressure and perhaps get something away. Nice RC right there, getting the OTG also. Ah, gonna get the wall break. Oh! <laughs> the freaking, uh, how do you call it? The post uh, wall break uh, wild assault is impossible to. It's uh, nobody can like react to this. It's so crazy. I'm I'm sure people do, by the way. But it's so it takes you by surprise so often. It's freaking freaking crazy. It's a pretty uh, strong mechanic. It's a pretty strong like a strategy actually. Right there. That being said, here we go with Moogie Man. Takes the first round of this third map. If you can continue in this direction. Alert! Big explosion. Moogie in the corner. Ah Tian shy to press a button to prevent Moogie from fukioing him. Uh. And the take pressure, man. Ah Tian shy to press a button right there. Does not want to get open. Does not want to lose this. Uh. Yeah, does not want to lose this. Uh. Oh, oh, I think he didn't press a button. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah, you just see it. Was that a punish because he pressed the button or because his recovery was too slow? I'm actually not quite sure. Ah, nice grab for Moogie. He takes the third match, man. Moogie, no slouch. No slouch. You cannot count him out, whatever happens. Extremely strong Nagu Yuki player. Nagu Yuki player. He also has a pocket axle, by the way. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna see his axle if he plays against uh, FAB. I think we are. I'm uh, ready to bet on it. Anyways, here we go with the pressure. Ah, big stuff. And here we go with the corner pressure. Ooh, the big explosion though. And here we go with Achan going straight for the overdrive. Oh, actually could not get the overdrive. The explosion hit him first. You hate to see it. But it's okay. Achan noticing the Fukio and Pressing, standing, uh, standing key in order to get the 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 the, the punish. Then you go with the content to it. Moogie getting the wall break. Oh lord, Achan going for the wild assault. Wow, Achan went for the overhead. Damn, definitely Moogie definitely not expecting this. By the way, that was pretty funny. Uh, 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 I think Achan is fine. Yeah, they are. Mugi not even uh, required to Roman cancel in order to make it safe. Nice abari from Achan. Gets the jump in and gets the bait on the burst. And Achan should be able to take it now, actually. It still has the pressure and goes for the 2k for the kill. Achan evening the odds and we're going on to the, the last match. How, how how many times have we went to the last round of the last map? I feel like it's gonna be exactly the same thing this time around. Here we go to jump it. Big wild assault counter hit right there for me. Gonna get the juggle and the corner carry. Here we go to grab for Amata. Gonna get the side switch and the super explosion. Look at the damage! Wow! The butterball! What the hell? What the hell is going on? Good lord! Yeah, Moogie just has to hold it some, some way. Good lord. Ah, nice grab right there from Achan. Should be able to get the juggle. No, not even. What the hell happened? That is crazy pressure in the corner. That was sick from Achan. Achan on set point on the verge of sending Moogie in the loser and uh, of, of eliminating Moogie, actually. That was sick, man. But Moogie, man, look at this. Moogie taking his, his side back, his turn back. That was sick pressure, man. That was so crazy. And here we go with the wall break. Ah, oh, man. Achan. Achan wanting to close the gap. Gets the counter hit. Gonna get the pressure. Ah, oh, man. What is the freaking mix? Here we go with the grab from Achan. What the hell was that? Oh, I think it was a safe jump. What the hell? What the hell? Oh no, and the double freaking wake up overdrive from Moogie, man. <laughs> that was sick. Double wake up overdrive. That was so sick. Good stuff from Moogie. 
Oh man, everyone, Mugi getting the grab. This is looking pretty bad. Oh man, Mugi going all freaking crazy. Look at the damage. And D6 HS for the wall break. Big wall, the salt counter. You hate to see it. It might be over. Yes, it is. And Mugi, man. Mugi bringing it back on the verge of ex. And on to the next battle. Kohide versus Hagia. Is that a one bat? Actually, during this tournament, that is. I do believe it is not. No, it's not. It is actually not. So no, it's not. It's not. Okay, it's fine. So, anyways, on to the next battle. So, Hagiara versus Kohide Tail. As old as time, these two have been meeting each other in tournaments so many times. It used to be Kohide's uh, win uh, quite often, but then Hagiara really, really worked on uh, Jacko and actually managed to shift the tide quite often, especially in recent tournaments, where he has been more dominant than Kohide. Well, at least in the bird look up, that is. <laughs> As you can see right now, by the way. So yeah, I got taking the first round pretty convincingly, not gonna lie. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the grab from Kohide. Ah, big tick pressure from Kohide. Oh no! Hate to see it. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. Sorry for the wait. Uh, I did want to. Ah, my fine. Okay, here we go. That close-up pressure from Hagiara. Gonna get. Ooh, the grab actually. And oh, uh, the tap freaking does into the Elysian Driver for the kill. Driver! First match goes to Hagiara, actually. Pretty convincing, not going to lie. Good stuff, good stuff. See how this spins out. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be right back. Nice to get 2 d from Ayala, forcing Koyde to pop the bird. And Kohide with uh, Hagara with the corner pressure. Let's see if he can open Koyde up. Koide with the brave six feet though. That was really great. Good stuff. Okay. Try for the wait. Big Allegiant Driver right there from Hagera. He's gonna get the wall break and nice 2k2d for the kill. <clears throat> One round of peace. Who is going to take it? We shall see. A big two. Ah, closest right there from Kohide. Manages to get the grab. Force, forcing Hagera to pop the gold burst. <coughs> mm. Ah, nice 2k right there. Catches the bag that. Uh, Kohide, biding his time, does not want to overextend, gets the grab. He's got the corner pressure. Definitely wanting to uh, bait that YRC. Ah, ah nice 2D right there from Ayara. Catching the foot of Kohide. Gonna get the corner pressure. Definitely looking for that YRC, but Kohide not giving it to him. Ayara with the wake up <laughs> gold burst. Oh, the 2D though. You hate to see it. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes the first match. 
Uh, the second match, actually. That's the second match. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, there we go with the... Follow up. Ah, big Nasante right there from Kohide. Ooh, gets hit by the 2 HS though from Hagera. Hagera almost got the corner position. He does have two minions. Puts another one on the board, but one of them has disappeared. Uses the Wild Assault to uh, secure the hard knockdown. Trying to bait the RC though. Koide not giving it to him. Koide almost got the, the combo though. Thanks to the slowdown. Nice tick, uh, nice challenge right there from Hagera. Going for a fake tap dust into the 2k in order to um, get Kohide to block high when he was going low. Here we go the, uh, the corner pressure again from Hagara. Looking pretty good. Kohide ah, getting hit by all sorts of minions though. Gonna get hit by the Wild Assault as well. What is gonna be the pressure? Nice. Oh wow. Waiting for the end. Waiting for the recovery of the reverse, uh, the, uh, the wild reverse, man, and punishing accordingly. I got I taking the second, the third match, man. Good stuff. I hope I am correct when it comes to the score. It's either 1-1 one, one or 1-2 one, right now. I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. Hope I didn't mess up. Anyways, here we go with the tick pressure. Ah, big 6p counter hit from Poide. Gonna get the corner pressure. Ooh, gets the... Gets oh lord! Not only gets a uh, uh, advantageous uh, trade, but also gets the punish on the burst attempt from Haya. That was really sick. Okay, good stuff from Koida. Should be able to get the kill with the close S. And on to the second round. Oh lord! <laughs> good mobility from Koida. Not afraid to just dash forward into Haya. A little bit wary of the, the, the guard point as well. I wager. So I get it with the 2k 2d. Gets one minion out. Has all the pressure needed. Oh, he did, man. Sniffing them guard point out. Forcing I get to pop the burst. Again with the guard point. Oh, man. And I got uh, always checking them jump in. Definitely does not want to get jumped in by Kohide. Ooh, get into the back down. Go straight into the Legion Driver 4. Huge damage. Not gonna kill though. That's a lot of damage. Holy freaking boy. <coughs> See how this fence is out. Nice 6 speed. Almost got the kill over there. Big Nasante and the raw one at that. And a counter hit at that. And straight into the overdrive of that. But it's not gonna kill though. I got a does have tension bar for days. Ooh, Lord. And gets the kill with the minion. Kohido was so close to get his uh his comeback. And I think we're on set point actually. We'll see. If I get actually wins it, this might be set point. I'm not 100 percent sure though, but we'll see. That being said, here we go with the close up pressure from Kohide. Oh gets hit by the freaking guard when you get to see it. Oh, nice jump in right there from I gotta get the side switch as well. Yeah, just Kohide standing up when he absolutely should not have though. Oh Lord in the 2D man! Yeah. I get out with the wild assault to secure that hard knockdown. Once the wire seat. But Kohide not giving it to him. Oh Yes sir! Oh, this is gonna be big. Ah, big wild assault. Oh, catches! I got to try to take the throw. <gasps> and he got the punish on the burst. You have to see it. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No. I got ahead everything. Oh, no. This is so unfortunate for Hagara. He must, he must feel so bad right now. <laughs> I know I would. Holy freaking. That was so unfortunate. That being said, it's not over till it's over. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, man, Strive is unforgiving. If you make one too many bad mistakes, you are definitely going to feel it through your health bar. And sometimes everything can go south. Even if you have like a guard breaker, uh, not a guard breaker, a combo breaker, doesn't matter. Because even your combo breaker can be baited. It's crazy, man. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the grab from Hagara. 
trying to work his way to the corner to uh, get the tab. That's uh, not enough to kill. Or is it? It might be, actually. It, it definitely is. Definitely is. Definitely is, yeah. Doesn't even need the wall break. Good stuff from Aigala. Again on set point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Or is Kohide going... No! No! Not like this. <laughs> the panic gold burst right there from Aigala was absolutely the last thing that he should have done. Big 6P though. Wow, that was a brave 6P, not going to lie. Woo! And the counter hit. Is Aigala going to get the juggle? He does. Ooh, he gets the hit with the minion as well, which was probably a safe setup. Trying to bait that burst. Goes straight into the Illusion Driver, not gonna kill. That being said, Kohita has two bars of tension. He is literally safe right now. The safest thing ever. Ooh! Oh no, gets hit by the Aerial Overdrive. Into the Wall Break. Wall Assault, my bad. That being said, this time around, Hagira has two bars. Ooh! No, still gets hit by the Puente. Why? Why? Oh, why? What happened? Is the, the 6P got, got hit now, I, I refuse to believe that. I think I gotta press another button, um, unbeknownst, uh, uh, not willingly, like, he did it unexpectedly, I think. Okay, things are looking pretty grim for Hagyara, not gonna lie. Kohide has one bar of tension, Hagyara has zero little minions on deck. Okay, nice. Finally, Hagyara can start to get something moving. Ooh, gets the hit with the minion. <laughs> Too far to get the soccer kick. He does get the guard point though. <laughs> Ooh, he gets a punish on the 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 the, re, the the reflect the wild reflect. Ooh, big wild assault right there. Ooh, no, this is over. It's Jover. Good stuff from Kohide eliminates Ayala out of the tournament three. <laughs> Here we go with the Tyrant Ray from Roy. Fetching that really, really nice hard knockdown. He's got the corner pressure. Catches F maybe trying to jump out of the corner. Very nice use of Roy of the uh, the, the Bandit Revolver to go over the uh, the, slide, the slider head um, uh, AOE. That's actually a very nice uh, idea. And here we go with the YRC from FAB, getting that sweet, sweet knockdown. Goes for the double Garuda impact. Oh, Lord. Nice back dash from Roy. Got hit on block by the heat knuckle. That would have, that might have spelled death if he gets wrong. But good stuff from Roy. Manages to get the first round. Very, very, uh, pretty convincingly. Not gonna lie. Let's see how this pans out. How you doing, Hakuma? Nah, long time no see, bro. And here we go with the slider head. Roy, oh, fetching that jump in. That air to air, actually. Big far S counter. That did a ton of damage, by the way. This is going to do a ton of damage. <clears throat> Let's see how this spins out. Big slider head again. And again with the air to air counter hit in favor of Roy. Big bandit bringer into a V wild assault for the guaranteed uh, hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. <clears throat> and here we go with the tyrant rave for the kill. And first match goes to Roy. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, it's been yeah, man, it's been ages. Uh, man, I am okay. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. So let's see how this spins out. I think FAB was just waiting a little bit just to be sure to try to, you know, calm himself down and perhaps think, uh, think, think of a new strategy to try to win it back. We shall see. Big Potomkin Buster right there from FAB. And here we go, oh lord, that was sick. Here we go with the air to air from Roy. Ooh, gets an unfortunate side switch though from the burst of FAB. 
before we manage this to get the, the jump in. Goes for the Volcanic Viper. Raul goes for the safe jump. Ah, Lord. If we be trying to check them, uh, them run ins by Roy and Roy, man, with the pickup. That was crazy. Good stuff from Roy. FAB definitely struggling right now. Oh lord, nice standing K into a corner carry combo and also got a side switch off of it. So sick, good stuff. Here we go with the positive bonus. And Roy, man. Ooh, goes for the Lotus Emerald. So always combos off every hit for here for indeed, yeah. Not gonna lie. Oh lord. And the freaking air to air. Straight into the wild assault. Ooh, here we go to Fafnir. And get stuck. 2k into the quick dust. That was very nicely done by Roy. Gets the second match as well. <coughs> Let's see if FAB can manage to bring it back. We shall see. Ah, here we go to Far S counter it. Ooh, big Mega Fist right there. Unfortunately for him, Roy was aware of it. And it just to punish it accordingly. What the hell? That was unfortunate. That was definitely not what he wanted. Ooh, Lord. Big Volcanic Viper. And yeah, Fibi. Deciding to hold on to his burst rather than spend it. And uh, having to uh, play the next round without it. Here we go with the slider hit. That was pretty crazy, yeah. And here we go with the... Oh, Lord. Oof. Man, Roy definitely wanting the kill right now against the opening. Yeah, I think we had to burst right there or he would have been in a very bad position post wall break. Definitely does not want to give the positive bonus to Roy and that is going to be big though. Not enough to kill though. Yeah, this is definitely going to kill though. Okay, Roy taking it a clean 3 to nil over FAB. FAB will definitely have... On to the next battle, Mugi versus Kohide. A tale as old as Shrine. Let's see how this pans out. So, Mugi might switch to Axel uh, if this doesn't really work out for him. But we'll see. Okay, and here we go with Kohide drawing first blood, getting that very, very nice uh, wall break with positive bonus. Straight in favor of Kohide with uh, the sweep. Goes for the fuzzy. However, Mugi was aware of it, manages to block correctly, gets hit by the tab does though, and resorts to not using his burst for, in order to keep it for the coming, um, the coming uh, round. So let's see how this turns out. Oof. And here we go to close S. Pressure tries to get the command grab, but Kohide oh, again, man. Kohide just jumping out of it. Oh, I thought he was going to get the side switch. But Kohide out for blood, man. Kohide is always out for blood. <laughs> it's always the game. <laughs> Kohide only likes one thing, it's to win. <laughs> I am 100% sure Kohide is a sore loser, but he doesn't show it. But I'm sure that he hates losing, but like really, really hates it. I'm convinced. <laughs> So that's the reason why Kohide is uh, so, like, um, win, win, uh, how do you call it? He's so win dr driven, yeah. I am sure of it. He's super win driven. He just hates to lose. Which is really good. It's a nice mindset, I feel. To, like, have the mental fortitude to really just pursue winning at any given time. Even if the odds are not necessarily in your favor. This is a really, really nice mindset to have. And it's actually pretty hard to have this mindset if you think about it. I think. But it's hard to always like motivate yourself to be yeah to say oh yeah I need to win I'm gonna win I want to win yeah it's hard to really keep this winner's mindset I feel I think that uh, Kohide has it but the downside is that he absolutely hates losing in my opinion that's why I think <laughs> it's my impression of when I, I play against him yeah and I get my I get my way uh, with him sometimes and I, I feel like he really hates it. So yeah, but that's cool, that's cool, that's a good thing I feel. But anyways, that being said, here we go with Kohide with the aerial overdrive. Unfortunately for him, Mugi actually blocked it. Ooh, and Mugi with the RC out of the corner manages to get that hard knock, that counter hit. Ah, Kohide, ooh, really wants to get out of the corner. Ooh, okay, here we go with Mugi with the close S. Oh, that was a 6 RC. 
straight into the command grab. Is Moogie gonna be able to open it up? Oh lord, gets grabbed, unfortunately for him. What is gonna be the- Ooh, tap dust. You hate to see it, yeah. Wild Assault, nope, no Wild Assault here. And I actually agree with Kohide. Ooh, oh, let's see. Ooh, nice uh, clone, but unfortunately for, Ko for Moogie, he was on the brink of exploding, and he actually did. That's unfortunate for him. Anyways, here we go. On to the next battle. Nice juggle right there from Moogie. Goes for the double Fukio. Deflect Shield did nothing for the pressure. Yeah, it did nothing. Indeed. That, yeah, the Deflect Shield is still not like 100% well used by most of the players, me included, obviously. But it's not like, it, it's hard to really use it reliably and, um, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but it's hard to really use it efficiently, I feel. It's more of a luck, luck use than anything else, I feel. It's still not very intuitive when it comes to really knowing when to use it correctly. And it's everybody is like this. I've never really found any player who use like deflect shield really, really correctly. I feel. With that being said, here we go with the wild assault. Nice stuff from Mugi. Not enough to kill though. Oh, and it goes for the thick pressure and catches Kohita standing up a wee bit too often. Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the second match actually. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, good stuff. Oh, Mugi getting grabbed. Oh, wakes up with the gold burst. Not punishable anymore, by the way. No. And here we go, the grab from Mugi this time around. Goes for the save jump. Ah, wanting to catch that grab, though. Well, the salt is much easier. Oh, hell yeah. Well, the salt is like, yeah, it's much more intuitive. And, and you know what's going to happen in your combos, you know? You know exactly what... If you have your combo routes down, then you know exactly what's going to happen. Whereas... Deflect shield depends on what your opponent really does at one given moment. And some moves like moves you forward. So even if you're if you use wild assault and your opponent uses a certain move, he'll still be right in front of your ass if even if you use wild assault correctly. So it's like, yeah, might as well just use like uh FD, you know. I feel I feel like that that's the thing, you know. I don't know. Even for characters who Wild, Wild Reflect was intended to be used with against, uh, and I think about like Jacko, I think about Zato, I think about what's his name, Dickinson, I think about even Nagoto Yuki. Like some of the properties of their move, like goes completely around Reflect Shield, not Reflect Shield, a uh, Reflect Assault, uh, Wild Reflect, and like it, it, it's as if it really didn't do anything in the end. So. Yeah, I don't know. I still, I still have my doubts of whether or not the wild, wild reflect has been correctly implemented in the game. That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> the deflect banana. <laughs> what the hell is deflect banana, though? <laughs> well, yeah, ah, deflect banana. Oh yeah, yeah the, the the bug with the Faust. Yeah, yeah, the one that crashes the game. <laughs> That was sick, though. That was so funny. Somebody used it in tournament because he was about to lose. <laughs> so he deflected a banana to force, to force, uh, what's it called, to force the match to be re reset. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. And I mean, there wasn't like any rules to, to, uh, to, uh, to prevent players from using this, this, uh, this exploit, you know. So the, the tournament organizers had no choice but to, to like reset the, 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 the realm. It was so so stupid. It was so funny though. <laughs> like his opponent looked at him and was like, "Really, man? You're really gonna do this?" It was so funny. Anyways, here we go. And wow, Koita definitely like uh, going next gear, shifting next gear right now. That is a pretty great. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord! And the point not to get hit by the super. You hate to see it. But did you see the Teo drama in uh, MK1? Yeah, the touch of death, right? The TOD. Uh, it's not a touch of death, but it's like the... Um, yeah, it is a touch of death, right? With Sindel, I think. Was it a touch of death, though? I'm not quite sure. I think it was a touch of death, though. And uh, yeah, they decided... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They decided to change it mid-set or whatnot. Well, I feel like... Yeah. Mm. Unblockable. Okay, unblockable. Well... I don't really... I don't know. I really don't know. But I mean, yeah, they they should have left. They should have let it be uh, usable during the tournament. 
shall see who will have the right to face against none other than uh, Roy in the final. We shall see in a couple of minutes. But yeah, the unblockable, I feel like they should have left it for this tournament, but I would have definitely banned it for the coming tournament, for the next tournament that I host. But just for the fact of having the... Uh, just to have like a showcase of the actual um, setup or, you know, uh, the, the, the actual um, properties of, of whatever move that Sindel player used, I feel like it would have been pertinent to just allow it for this tournament, to have a lot of data to show like for example nether realms so that they can really attest whether or not it should be banned or not usable or like actually um, be taken out of the game actually yeah because if you ban it in the tournament maybe nether realms won't come across uh like a, a clip of the the exploit or it won't come across the data of the exploit and uh they won't patch it out of the tournament uh, they won't patch it out of the game uh, for uh, during the next patch you see what i mean because if you like, if you ban it just for your tournament, it's just for your tournament that it's going to apply. It's not going to apply for the rest of the game. So might as well get rid of the exploit overall by having the attention of Nether Realms straight on your tournament, and by doing so, by by having as many clips of the exploit uh, available as possible. Basically, I feel like this would have been a more interesting way of dealing with the with the exploit. I feel to have it like patched out rather than just a ban at your tournament. Because, I mean, Nether Realms have a lot of um, of uh, experience in the, you know, in the FGC and in the fighting game uh, development. So they, they know how to recognize, like, a dumbass move when they see one. And that the only thing that they would have needed is to have, like, the exposure to said dumb move. Uh, and they, maybe they have it right now, maybe they don't. But uh, it would have probably been a better idea to just let it let it go, you know, for, for your current tournament. Just once, and then uh, have uh, NRS, uh, NRS decide whether or not they should take it out or not. I think it's an NRS game. Aren't they always? Yeah, it's pretty janky, but they usually like. Eventually, they usually uh, at, at, at like launch date. It's usually it's very unbalanced, and whatnot. Especially at MK1 currently is not very balanced, from what I heard. Don't take my uh, my word for it though. But that, that's what I heard. But uh, they usually tend to balance it out like uh, and later on with the. Uh, with like patches and whatnot. Yeah, the Mega Fist was crazy, bro. Anyways, here we go. And look at that. Look at this. Look at that freaking awesome combo. That was sick. Double Heat Knuckle. Good stuff from FAB. Go straight for the Hammerfall. That being said, look at Moogie. Go, goes for the yellow Roman Castle. The golden Roman Castle. The golden burst. Oh! Moogie, man! Mo not Moogie. FAB with the command grab right at the, the landing of Moogie. That was sick. That was so sick. Good stuff from Moogie. From, from FAB. That was really crazy. Again, here we go with the command grab from Moogie because he has one as well. Let's see how this pans out. Oh! Tab us right there from Moogie. Forcing FAB to pop the burst. Oh lord. Nice side switch from Moogie. Gets a pretty nice juggle combo right there. Oh, here we go to jump in from Moogie. Gonna get the kill, yeah, definitely. Who sent Moogie here? That's a good question. That's so hard for him. Yeah, 27 hit combo by by Potemkin. That's that's the most freaking Funny, uh, funny and, and impressive stuff. Who sent FAB here? Oh, he, he came here by his own, uh, his own, uh, his own decision, bro. And here we go with uh, the. Uh, <laughs> uh, who sent Moogie here? Ah, uh, okay, you sent. Okay, I see what you mean. I think it was Moogie. I'm not quite sure actually. Uh, Roy sent FAB here, but I don't think he sent Moogie here though. The person who sent Moogie here is. Ah, it's actually Roy. You're right, you're right. My bad, my bad. I lied. You are totally right. You are totally right. Good stuff, Zombix. And here we go with the corner pressure from Moogie. Does not want FAB to get out of it. But unfortunately for me, he gets it by the Groot Impact. Ooh, Lord! And the tab dust, man. Moogie going completely ham. 
Roy is definitely on fire these days. I think he won the last Project Cup you participated to as well. Ooh, good whip punish right there from Moogie using the Beyblade. Uh, and here we go, it's guest time. Oh, goes for the Wild Assault. Oh man, the freaking... Oh lord. The defense of FAB is crazy. Outworldly, if I might say. That was crazy, but in the end he did get open. But it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Stuff happens. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Nice back that from FAB straight into the Potemkin Buster. Oh, nice 2k 2d right there to keep Mugi on the ground. Catches the back Fukio from Mugi with... A, oh, and this is it, by the way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep. Good boom! Keep not going! Good lord, them combos from... Uh, from FAB, crazy. Now on to the next battle. Nice back that right there from FAB. Ah, oh, gonna get punished though. Because he committed to the uh, hammer fall. Ah, nice back that on the Garuda impact attempt right there from FAB. Maybe currently in the corner. I uh, guess it by the Beyblade from Mugi and Mugi Fukio right straight into a to the end. Nice. Confirm right there from Mugi. Forcing FAB to pop the burst. Oh, and FAB man getting hit by the 2H. You hate to see it. FAB with the uh, uh the unfortunate decision of bursting during the previous match. When's Evo? Or is it Art World Tours soon? That's a very good question. I really don't know. Aguma. I'm uh I have to admit I haven't been following the tournament scene of uh of Strive uh, a lot these days, unfortunately, so I'm not quite sure. But uh I think Evo is in not this year, is it? I don't think it's this year though. I'm pretty sure it's not. Big oh lord the command grab from Oh my lord from FAB taking the third freaking match and taking the lead as well. Let's see if Moogie can bring it back. We shall see. The one who wins this one. Did you watch French SF6? I think it was French. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't watch it, but I'm aware of it. And I know that, uh, what's his name? Um, Val Valmaster played very well during this uh, tournament. Unfortunately, he got beaten by Chris... Chris Wong, was it? I think. I'm not quite sure. Damn. FAB man, holy freaking lord, good stuff from FAB. And FAB on match point, let's see if he can bring it back, we shall see. Ah, Moogie pressing buttons. Uh, FAB on one, yeah man. Evo, okay in July, next year, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. AWT in March, okay, next year as well, okay. Arc World Tour is March next year, okay, you... Okay, that's perfect, okay, thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the uh, the update. Oh lord! Ah, uh, FAB gonna get hit right there. And Moogie man just hitting FAB with the six the HS. Ooh, big mega fist from FAB and he should be able to seal the deal. Yes, he does. FAB eliminates Moogie three, two, one. Of the Brojo Cup are usually very, very strong. <laughs> So that's the thing. And we also have FAB, so surprise participation from FAB, and I thank him very much for participating today, because uh, uh, it's always a pleasure to have a very, very, you know, legend of uh, the Guilty Gear Strive scene to actually participate to the tournament. It's always a pleasure to have it. So anyways, that being said, here we go. This is the grand finale. Roy versus FAB. Let's see if uh, FAB is going to be able to bring it back. Oh, by the way, uh, let me... Updates this also for you guys to make it easier to know who is on the winners and who is on the loser side of the bracket. Just put it for you guys because I'm very nice. There you go. So yes, uh, Roy is on the winner side with a nice little W right next to his name. And uh, um, I'm gonna, yeah, his name is too freaking long. There we go. It's gonna be easy, I guess. Here you go. Ibushigin Roy versus FAB. Who's gonna win? We shall see. Nice to see Aichan here. Uh, one of the best badmen. Oh, really? I didn't know he knows him. I was actually not uh, aware of that. So, so that's the reason why he was so good. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. That's cool to know. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the XR scene, so. Uh, yeah, whenever you, like. Um, whenever you um, single out a very, very strong player, don't hesitate to let me know. <laughs> 
But thanks for the heads up, that's pretty cool. That being said, look at Roy, man, running a freaking train right now. Wow, this is gonna be big. Not enough to kill, though. Goes for the safe jump. Nice bag dash right there, not to get hit by the slider hit again with the bag dash. Nice for S right there to punish FAB pushing buttons. First match goes to Roy. Let's see how this spins out. Hmm. And here we go. How are you doing, John Nakano? He went by the name of Ashihana. Okay, that's cool to know. I wasn't aware. And here we go with... Wow, the side switch right there from uh, Roy. Not getting hit by the butt fall from, F uh, from FAB. Good the Same jump. Roy with the corner pressure. Oh, big slider head, but punished by Roy with the jump in. Went with the wild assault to prevent FAB from popping the burst, by the way. Now that being said, FAB does have the burst now. I'm pretty sure he's going to keep it for the next round, though. Again with the slider head. Oh, and here we go. It's mix up time. Nice blocks by FAB. Gonna get hit by the uh, bandit bringer, though. Good stuff from Roy. Roy on the verge of taking the second match as well. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, again with the uh, attempt of <laughs> punishing the butt slam with the forest. A little, uh, a little off with the timing though. But look at the damage. Nice stuff from Roy. Gonna get the wall break with a heavy knockdown at that. Ah, uh, this time around, FAB fails to block correctly. This is unfortunate. Ah, Samito-san! And here we go with... Ooh! <laughs> Heavenly Podbuster! Roman cancel into the uh, Podbuster. Very nicely done by FAB. Gets saved by the forest, though. You can see Roy. Ooh, on the verge! Yeah, man, the freaking punishes of Roy are insane. Really, really insane. Very nicely done. Here we go with the Mega Fist. Oh, good lord. Ooh. And yeah, Roy trying as hard as possible to... Ooh. Oh, man. If maybe going to bring it back with the Reflector. I forgot the name. Uh, the the Aegis Reflect. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this spins out. And back to... Ah. Uh, back to the neutral. But that is unfortunate for... If maybe he's already in the corner. Ah. Uh, nice jump in from Roy. He's got the corner... Pressure, trying to find a way to open FAB up. Holy moly, pixel combat. Yeah, man. That being said, it's not over till it's over. Uh, Roy with the pressure, the unending pressure. 50-50 goes for the wall throw. Oh, good lord. FAB still alive. No 6P there. You hate to see it. Ooh, big Fafnir. Ooh, gets hit by the... Oh, lord. Roy. Roy is in Lambo. Ooh, no. Whoa, this is so crazy. Nice replay right there. Oh, he got the butt buster. Not over till it's over. Not over till it's over. Not over till it's over. Oh, that was serious. That was freaking crazy. Are you freaking serious? Canceling the freaking hammer. Falling to the heavenly butt buster. That was freaking sick. Good lord. Oh, my God. That was so <laughs> Good lord! I've never seen something like this, man. FAB, the freaking Potemkin god. The Potemkin god, man. Oh my god. Heavenly pod buster. Heavenly FAB buster, man. That was crazy. Good stuff from FAB. As expected from the pod god, man. That was crazy. FAB puts one on the board. Definitely not out of this yet. This definitely dealt mental damage. Uh, psychological damage to Roy. But as you can see, Roy is still in the lead. But that being said, look at this. Look at the... No, oh, he drops it. And <laughs> Walter for the kill. Okay, nice decision right there to delay the burst. And if maybe is he going to take it? Not enough. <coughs> Just one hit this is all you need. And he gets it with the jump in. FAB, man. With the comeback status. Crazy. Good lord. Oh, my lord. FAB the god, man. <laughs> it's so crazy. Okay, on to the next battle. Let's see how this spins out. So, FAB currently with the first round of the second match. Of the third match, actually. Goes for the slider head. <laughs> nice block from Roy, though. 
This set is crazy. <laughs> this set is really crazy. Here we go with the bandit revolver. <laughs> nice corner combo from Roy. Tries to bait the wire C right there. Oh, gets hit by the hammer fall though. Nice. Groovy impact. Oh, goes for the tap dust. <laughs> Straight into the heat knuckle for the kill. FAB still in it. <coughs> oh, takes the lead actually. 2 to 1. Holy freaking lord. FAB, man. That's oh, crazy. Next level reads, man. Okay, here we go. The knockdown. FAB trying to keep the pressure going. Goes for the wild assault. <coughs> oh, that is a big counter hit. Uh, Roy catching FAB trying to jump out of pressure though. Oh, wow. That was a very brave. Buster <laughs> and Roy with the wall break using the wall assault. See how this pans out. Ooh, goes low. Nice block by FAB. Ooh, gets the, the freaking knockdown as well. Here we go to jump in. <laughs> FAB with the back mega fist, trying probably to catch the the, the vortex. Ooh. Here we go to Guru the impact. You have to hold it. Oh, the big wild assault to counter the DP attempts. Wow! I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Good look. Here we go to wall break. It won't be a heavy knockdown though. <clears throat> oh lord! Yeah, is that gonna kill? It's probably gonna kill. It's yeah, it's soul after all. This is probably dead. Oh actually not. Ugh, you hate to see it. Is this enough? Yeah, this is gonna Oh no, it's not! Okay, FAB. You can make it again. <laughs> no, why? Why? But still, so, fine, fine, it's fine. Okay, Roy with the first round. Let's see if FAB can manage a comeback. Hmm. See how this pans out. Nice jump in from FAB. Tried to get the follow up, but couldn't quite get it. <clears throat> Good lord. Here we go, the bandit revolver. <clears throat> oh, my voice, bro. Oh, my voice. That was crazy. Here we go, the bandit. Oh, no. Caught you pressing buttons where you should not. And Roy getting the Tyrant Rave for the hard knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the jump in. Nice blocks from FAB. Uh, tries to get the grab, but unfortunately too far for it. Here we go, the butt fall. Uh, nice juggle from Roy. We're trying to get that bandit. Again with the, uh, the butt fall. Ah, nice jump in from FAB. Trying to beat that that DP, definitely. Ah, nice for S counter hit. Uh, for, for S with punish. This should be enough to kill. Yes, it is. And Roy evens it out. Two matches apiece. If Roy wins the next match, it is going to be the end of today's tournament. And if FAB wins it, we will have a bracket reset, in which case we'll go for one more set. Big for H. Down hit right there from FAB. <coughs> mm. Wow, big Potemkin Buster, man. A courageous one at that. We go with the Wild Assault and again with the Potemkin Buster. Good lord, FAB waking up <coughs> again. You better be careful. The Pot Buster is coming for you. Oh, back Mega Fist getting scooped by the far HS, man. Why is that? I do not know. Okay, here we go. Yeah, FAB trying to check these uh, these uh, uh <laughs> these run ins from from Roy. Okay, nice hits right there from Roy. Gets the hit in, and it's yeah, it's guess time. Here we go. The wild assaults. Roy should have a safe jump. He does. Ooh, Fafnir losing against the Hammerfall. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a, a command grab. Ooh, nice. Ah, again, getting open with the 50 50 right there. And Roy on the bridge of taking this one. Ah, too far to get anything going. Oh, no, that was sick. Ah, uh, but too cl too quick. Too quick on his decision making right there. Ah. Uh, Again, going low, man. Roy has been opening FAB every single time with the past uh, Bandit Revolver setups. And we are on tournament point. If Roy gets this one, he will win the tournament. And this looks pretty good for him. Here we go to close pressure. Oh, 
Oh, nice jump in front of FAB. Big Garuda impact. You have to eat the second one as well. Tries to go for a command grab though. Very brave one at that. Okay. Good stuff from FAB. Oh, Lord. Nice wild assault right there. Okay, Roy about to get hit. Oh, what the hell was that? Good Lord. Oh, this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, and I think this is death, actually. This is death, and we have a bracket reset. Good stuff from... That so crazy. Yeah, he definitely knew that that was going to happen. That is crazy, man. Okay, on with FAB already cooking with his Garuda. Boom! Get out of here. That was so crazy. Okay, let's see how this pans out, though. Nice XP right there from FAB. Was for the... Oh, no! Too far to get... <laughs> Didn't quite react to the, the jump right there in time. Big 6 HS counter it for Roy. No oh, big hammerfall also from FAB. Ooh, where is everybody going? <laughs> what's going? What's happening? And here we go with Roy trying to bring FAB in the corner. Good lord. And here we go with the Reflector, Aegis Reflector. If maybe try to go for an, a tap dust. Okay, this is really, it could go either way, and it does. Roy takes uh, the first round. Unfortunately for FAB, he had a very strong start on this first round. Couldn't quite seal the deal though, but it's definitely not over till it's over. He did manage to get a bracket reset, so it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility for him to actually take this tonight. There you go, the Fafnir. Big gun flip. Ooh, that was a big 6S. 6S counter hit. Slide hit again. One home. Ah, man. Ooh, big back Mega Fist. Here we go, FAB. Checking these uh, these run-ins from Roy, but Roy found the way in. To be able to get the hard knockdown. See how this spins out. And here we go. Ooh, nice blocks from... Oh, Lord. Oh, no. How? Oh, how is the recovery so quick? It doesn't make any sense. And Roy using the Wild Assault to prevent FAB from having enough... Uh, from having enough uh, burst gauge in order to get out of the pressure. A genius. Genius decision making right there from Roy. Let's see how this pans out. And Roy, with a very strong start, should be able to get yeah, the Wild Assault. Henry with the jump in. FAB, yeah, he's struggling to get in. Not going to lie. Back Mega Fist right there. Oh, here we go to back Mega Fist again. And Roy trying to punish it with the far S. Ah, uh, not too late. Ah, okay, nice stuff from FAB. Ooh, almost got hit. Nice blocks from FAB, man. And, oh, Lord, the confirms from Roy, man. Forcing FAB to pop the burst. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, Lord, yep, yeah, somebody here. Ah, yeah, FAB not getting that knockdown that he so desperately needs right now. Oh, nice jump in. Ah, this is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see. Ah, too far to get the command grab. Uh, it looks like a rehash of the previous round, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, here we go with FAB in the corner. Ah, uh, no! Yeah, this is yeah, this is death. Yeah. Wait, wait. Good stuff from Roy. Oh, takes a pretty nice lead right now. If he wins the next one, it's gonna be extremely hard for FAB to come back. Uh, unfortunate start of the round right there for um, FAB. <clears throat> ah, nice. Far S right there from FAB. Ah, no. Tried to read the back dash by using this 6H. I do believe it is. But yeah, Roy was not in the mood to... <clears throat> oh, nice stuff from FAB. Finally punishes the jump out of Roy. Ooh, nice flick right there. Oh, sick. Again with the flick. Oh, and gets another flick. Okay, good stuff from FAB. 
The reeds are back. We are back in business, baby. Let's see how this pans out. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Gary going to jump in. Garuda, time it is. Again, you want a Garuda? Oh, dear to air though. Big Garuda. Again with the Garuda reset. It's another Garuda. Oh, man. Tried to read the jump out, though. But no one was home. FAB pressing one. We too many. What is that? Oh, that was a confirm. That was a freaking confirm. Are you serious? Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, oh, man. Wait, it's not over till it's over. Good way. Good lord. Wait, wait. Oh, no, it's not over. Oh, wow, well, the salty hills. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go with the corner pressure. Okay. FAB still in it, though. He has two bars. He has two bars. And this is going to be kidding. Yeah, that was death right there. Good stuff from FAB. Brought it back, man, from the brink of death. One round apiece. I feel like we're going to go to the last round of the last map. Don't quote me, but I feel like it's going to be the case. I definitely feel it's going to be the case. Oh, no. Caught you pressing tech right there, FAB. That's unfortunate. And Roy going straight with the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, Roy with the the safe jump. Here we go. The bandit revolver goes for the empty low. Ah, forcing FAB to pop the burst. Oh, man, he's already back in it. Great, perfect. Uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. This is unfortunate for him. And on with the wall break. What is FAB going to do? Get hit by the bandit bringer, of course. Wow, okay. Nice instant block, though. Ah, oh, Lord. Oh! We got the Garuda. Oh, and go straight for the IRC. Freaking Potemkin Buster. Man, if maybe taking the lead. Taking the lead. Holy freaking Lord. If he t if he wins this round, he is going to get a pretty definite uh, lead. But it's definitely not going to be easy, as you can see. Roy definitely does not want this to happen. Oh, nice 2H right there. Got no one home. Here we go. With... Ah, one second, guys. And here we go, the wall break. Roy getting the second round of this third match. See how this spins out. Slider head right there from FAB. Trying to get that wall. The, trying to get that knockdown. Nice grab from FAB. Goes for the Garuda impact reset. Again with the Garuda impact. <clears throat> oh, nice 6P. Wow, this is going to do a ton of damage. Is he dead? No, no, no. Okay. I think he messed up his... his uh, oh, but it's still fine. Garuda impact again. Oh, nice wild assault in FAB, man. FAB taking the lead 2 to 1. One more match for FAB, and he will have officially won the tournament. This is pretty freaking hype. What is Roy gonna do? What is Roy gonna do? That is crazy. Man, this is so hype. <laughs> Holy freaking lord. Can you go to jump it? Ah, uh, no, again, caught FAB taking right there. Oh, Roy dropping his combo. This is really, really uncharacteristic. Let's see how this spins out. Nice bended revolver right there. Gonna get a full combo. To oh, drops the combo again. What the hell is going on? Roy is definitely like, oh, good luck. Good boom. FAB again, catching the, oh no, you're catching you. Catching him back, that shit won too many times in FAB on tournament points. What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Oh, the jump in. Here we go with the flick, no 6P. Oh, are you serious? It wasn't even his turn. It wasn't even his turn and he goes for the pot buster. That was sick. What the hell was that? That was so fun. No, oh, it's fine, it's fine. He's out, he's out, he's out. Here we go with the butt slam. Bad mega fist. And it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. I can feel it. Good lord. Oh, the 6P. He was on the verge of getting it. Here we go. Oh, and he gets it. Holy freaking lord. FAB wins. FAB is hard, bro.